How you doing tonight, Lebanon? Make some noise! How's everybody doing tonight? You good? Hello, hello. My name uh, is Nimr Abu Nassar, and um, I'm proud to be Lebanese. So how many people here are proud to be Lebanese? How many people like feel the pride? So a lot of you here are young men and women. A lot of your parents have told you that Lebanon is the greatest country in the world. A lot of people come out and they say, they say, Lebanon ahla balad bil alam. You know that. But why? Nobody knows. If you ask somebody and you say, why is Lebanon the most beautiful country in the world? People will start coming up. Nobody's ever done it in the history of our country. Not one human being has skied and swam unless they were skiing and fell into some very melted snow. Apart from that, so what is it? What is it about Lebanon that makes it the greatest country in the world? I've been thinking about it. I have the answer. Do you guys want to know what the answer is? This is the freest country in the world. There is, it's true though. I don't mean it, I don't mean it in a cliche way. There is so much freedom you know how Americans say America is free? This is the only country in the world where traffic lights are purely optional. <laughs> this is the only country in the world where we still hook up the gas in our home, ourselves. We take large bottles of flammable nuclear weapons and we carry them up the stairs. And then we get the, the thing, the miftah thing from the natur, because you never have one at home. And then we put the miftah and we, the saddi, don't forget the saddi, we put the saddi and then we do the miftah thing. And then to test if we did it correctly, we take a flame of fire and we put that fire to the gas. My mother, when I first came back to Lebanon, told me, Habibi, is a mil take when fajarit yani marakkabta mazboot. And I said, thank you, mom, for the amazing guidance. This is the only country in the world where there are explosions that happened, sadly, just a few hours ago, and people die, yet still people come out to show how much they love the country. So the next time people ask you, why are you in Lebanon? Tell them, why the hell aren't you here? Because frankly, there's only one place that I would want to be, and that's right here with all of you. Thank you guys so much. I want you guys to promise me one thing. Just promise me one thing. If somebody asks you, young or small, if you have kids, I want you to train them. If somebody asks you, are you Christian, are you Muslim, you tell them I'm Lebanese. If they ask you, are you Shia or are you Sunni? You say, I'm Lebanese. If they ask you, are you Auni? Are you Uwait? Are you with Jaja? Are you with Hezbollah? Are you with, there's so many. Are you Dirzi? Are you with Jumblat? Are you against Jumblat? You tell them, you, I'm Lebanese. <laughs> Promise me that. Because some people right here might say to me, Nimit, why did you do that? Because when somebody puts a bomb in my country, when somebody tells me that I'm not allowed to love my country the way I want to love my country and that I have to take a side, be it eight or be it 14, they're giving me the biggest finger in the world. So to them, I tell them to go f themselves because this is my country. I love you all. You take care of yourselves. Take care of Lebanon for us. Right now, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye.